Alright family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So, I'm so very happy to introduce this new couple who is going to come and take over the channel for today. Their names are Mark and Amber. They are fellow YouTubers as well as gamers. So this video is a bit different because I thought it would be fun for them to actually play a game, as in gaming, as well as answer questions questions about their marriage, what it takes to be in a successful relationship according to them, some of their conflicts, just everything that they wanted to come and share with us today. So just keep in mind that every couple is different and they are no different. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoy this as much as I did. I will see you right after Mark and Amber shares their story. All right. Okay. So the first question is, what is our name? My name is Amber and my... My channel's name is uh, The Crafting Froggy, formerly, mm. formerly known as uh, Frogger's The Shopping Addict. Um, so, yeah, now it's my husband's turn. And I'm Mark, and my channel is Dragonstock28. Okay. Uh, how long have you been married? Um, in, in December, uh, it will be two years, right? Correct. Okay. Yay, I got it right. Uh, where, how did you two meet? Uh, would you like to go first or would you like me to go first? Yeah. Okay, we met on Yahoo back when it was a cool thing. And it was awesome. And he, I messaged something in the room saying hi. And he, uh, anybody want to talk to me? And he messaged me. He was one of the people that messaged me. And then we talked. And then here we are. <laughs> how would you like to describe how we met? Did it not go like that? We were both bad. We were both bored and we just wanted to talk to someone. Hey! Something spit me. Um, okay, so the next one is, what was the first impression you had of each other? Uh, oh, 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 um, it wasn't that, uh, I was gonna get attacked. <laughs> um, my first impression is that he was shy, he was quiet, and, uh, I thought he was really cute, and that he was true to who he said he was, and he wasn't some kind of weird person, and that he was cute, and... So, you. <laughs> um, she was very shy. Um, it took a while for her to open up. Um, when she did, she kept going. <laughs> but it was always fun to talk to her. Did either of you know that he or she was your um, partner for life? I did not know. <gasps> he just kicked me off the building, people. Did you see that? He just kicked me off the building. How dare you? Anyways, I was talking about my, okay, yeah, I, I just didn't know that he was not the one yet because I, I mean, there was a lot of past relationships that, that I said that, yeah, we're going to get married and yada, yada, yada. And I mean, I was 16 at the time. I didn't like really foresee that in my future quite yet. Although he will tell you when I did, I was extremely annoying about it. <laughs> um, but I mean, I just, I wanted to make sure that he was going to stick around and he sure stuck around. Um, he left for a while, like seven years, but <laughs> he sure stuck around. <laughs> so now you, Babel. Uh, no, I also didn't know. Oh, you're getting me. I didn't know if um, it was love at first sight or if I was going to be with you the rest of my life now. It just happened that way. Uh, we had to know each other. I liked who the, how she was. I liked the person that she was. And it just unfolded that way. It did. It did, people. Okay, uh, what is our favorite memory with each other? Um, my favorite me memory is when he took my uh, godson and I to Disneyland. So I was really extremely excited about that and happy about that and it was fun times. And we had fun other than my godson not wanting to go on many rides. Uh, I mean, he was five, so I mean, I mean you know. Uh, but yeah, it was fun, and we, like, he, he would make us laugh, and I got to ride a lot of rides with him, and, um, 
there'd be a lot of rides because uh, my husband has a condition, if most of you don't know, um, and uh, he couldn't go on the ride, so we, uh, me and my godson just went on a couple, and then him and my godson would go on a couple, and it was just, it was really fun, so that is a memory I share. Yeah, my memory is the same. Um, took them both to Disneyland, and that was their first trip, so it was exciting to see their faces light up when they were going on, on rides or see characters and just do stuff that they've never done before. It was really neat to see that. Well, it wasn't my first trip. It was my second trip, but technically it was my first trip, so if that made any sense to anybody. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it was exciting. It was fun. We had a party and had joyous fun. I rhymed and I didn't even know it. Okay, uh... What's your partner's biggest pet peeve about you? Okay, what is not my biggest pet peeve? Um, he will tell you that I do have a little bit of a issue with anger, uh, which I am working on. And uh, you're gonna hear vehicles because people are driving by and it's been raining here, but that's beside the point. Uh, then um, I don't like when he doesn't pick up after himself. Uh, I mean, it, 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 I notice this with every guy, but I just don't really like it. I, it just it annoys me. I have OCD very badly, and it just it annoys me. Um, I also, like, he's a little sloppy when he eats. <laughs> uh, I'll find, like, little, like, ketchup stains on, like, the corner of his lip or something, and I'll be like, good lord. Um, what else? Uh, I wish he would be more attentive to um, us being um, his cat, his other cat, my uh, dog, his dog, and me, um... I wish he wouldn't game so much, and I just wish that he would just be like, let's go for a drive or something. Um, so, yeah. Those are my pet peeves. My pet peeves are when I do something, say, anything. Norm, or, and I, let's say I put effort into it, for lack of thereof, or whatever, I try to, to do as she wanted, or ask me. She'll get home or something, and then she'll look around the house, after, and I think, I'm like, oh, I did a good job. But she'll be like, you didn't do anything all day. And... It's like, well, crap, why did I even do it in the first place? Um, then, like she said, her anger is um, an issue or a pet peeve. Well, it's um, not, it's not like, I mean, let's tell them, it's not like it's, it's not like I'm mean to him. If, I mean, I do yell at him. No, but she's not mean. I mean, I, all I do is I yell at him. But I, I just, I, I don't know if it's from my past relationship or whatever, but it's just, I get very angry when things are not done my way, I guess. Um, and that's where my OCD comes into effect because I want it done. Like, if, let's say if I clean a thing a certain way, I want to clean that certain way. And then he won't do it. And it's like, uh, I had it perfect. Well, why are you, you know, not doing it that way? So that's pretty much what I get mad at. Um, okay, are we on to the next question? Yep. What do you two do in your free time besides gaming and YouTube? I like to do photography. Um, I like to spend time with my family. Uh, I like to go up to the woods. Um, I oddly like to do like investigation stuff, like um, like to look at abandoned houses and stuff like that. I mean, we really haven't done that, but um, I would like to do that in the future. I would like to show him a couple haunted places around here and whatnot. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, pretty much the same. Um, I game a lot, uh, watch TV. Um, I like spending time with Amber, um, even if it's just going to take the dogs for a walk or whatever. Um, we used to, uh, when it was a little bit warmer, and Amber was in the mood for it, we would go and do some Pokemon Go stuff. And that was always fun, and there's a witch right there, so be careful. Um, but yeah, that was always fun. I just like doing a bunch of stuff with Amber. She's my best friend. I would never want to do things with my best friend. Uh, why did each of you start your YouTube channel? Um, I started it to begin with makeup and stuff, trying to, um show like my favorite uh you know products my shopping hauls you know attempt to do makeup looks with the way i mean i know it doesn't look like i'm wearing makeup because i'm not but um i would oh want to do makeup looks with the best of my ability and i like to meet friends and stuff but now it's changed into a crafting channel so um I currently have switched it around, and right now, currently, I'm only doing hauls, but I do want to do some crafting things I might be doing in this, um, Halloween, so, uh, stay tuned at my channel for that, um, but yeah, that's kind of why I joined, is because I really wanted to make, like, my channel something awesome, <laughs> and I wanted to make friends, and I wanted to do things that I knew people would like to see, and, um, 
I mean, I don't really care about the popularity of it. Um, I don't want to be in the in crowd or anything. I just want to do YouTube and make friends and have meetups and join in each other's hobbies and, you know, just have fun. So that was my plan. I'm sorry that was so long. Sorry, guys. I don't know if you heard any of what he said. He, he was cutting out a lot. So um, you two compete during gaming together. Yes. Uh, card games or anything like that we do, but games like this, we just try to save each other. <laughs> so, um, other than that, uh, no, we don't. Yeah, uh, we compete a lot, actually, um, in a fun way. We, like, there's games where we compete, and there's games that we work together, like Minecraft. We do that a lot. Um, it just depends on the game. Yeah, it has to be, like, competing-worthy if you will. Like, we don't just compete because we, like, dislike each other or anything. <laughs> so, um, it's just we compete. Um, how much time do each of you spend on gaming? Uh, all day, if we could. Yeah, pretty much all day. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, does gaming interfere with your family life and time? Yes. This is more his question. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Um, I'm very bad at managing time, and if I'm sitting down at a game and I need to get something done, I prioritize poorly, and frankly, it's gotten me in trouble more times than not. But it doesn't mean that I love Amber any less. It's just, like I said, I prioritize time poorly. So that's just something I have to work on, and it's just... Like I said, it's okay. This is you're you're supposed to be covering me, babe. I am covering you. Um, I don't know where it is. Um, okay, so there's that. Uh, what is your partner's favorite color? His is blue. I sometimes get it wrong, but it is blue. What is mine, babe? Orange at the moment. Um, what is favorite food? We like anything and everything. Yep. Well, I don't like cheese, but pretty much anything and everything. <laughs> If that possible. So, yeah. Anyways, on to the next one. What are each other's greatest weaknesses? Um, crafts. Game. Uh, when conflicts arise, as they do, will you two handle them? I will not justify it. Yeah, we normally just uh, handle it the best way we can. Um, we try not to, like make each other feel bad or anything if it has something to do with a family member or anything um normally when we get bad news i'm always like oh my god oh my god and he's like what what and i'm like oh my god oh my god and he's like he just wants to know what i'm talking about um but yes uh we do communicate and we do talk through our problems so uh do you go to bed angry um yes there has been occasions that that has happened um excuse me Unfortunately, Mark can fall asleep on a whim. Uh, me, it takes hours. Uh, so, uh, I just, you know, I, I sit there and it brews and he is off in la, la land like, oh, this doesn't matter. And then I'm like, uh, we need to talk about it. So, he, uh, he pretty much, uh, we'll talk about it in the morning because that's what he does. Okay, do you have any questions or things for that? No, that was pretty much it. We, where are, we do go to bed angry sometimes we don't mean to or i don't mean to um i get um tired really eating hard fast and like she said i can just put my head down and i knock out i um, like talking things through it's just that sometimes i just fall asleep who usually apologizes first after an argument mark does because yep. i'm stubborn uh how much work is a marriage does it get easier um marriage is like hard work um it, it's always going to be hard um, if you two don't communicate and you two don't come to an understanding what works for the both of you, it can't work for just one person. It needs to work for the both of you. So, um, I, I recommend working it out and, you know, listening to each other's wants and needs. And, uh, we try to cater to that, but often we are selfish and we want it our way or the highway, you know, type thing. But, um, marriage is a lot of work. So anything you want to say about that, babe? You will fight often. Just don't ever say that you give up. Because in marriage, there is no giving up. Yeah. I mean, I would bring out uh, the Bible, but I really don't feel like.
Who are each other's best friends? Yes. Of course. He, uh, when I needed somebody to talk to, he was always the first person I would go to, um, even before uh, we got together and before anything really occurred. So, um, I mean, he's a good listener, but he's not a good advice giver. Yeah. I mean, so. Yeah. Anything you want to say about that? No. Okay, my what is our love language? Uh, we have started calling each other Babel. We I found that out in a video and it just I was like so that's what I call him. Um and I call him Babe, I call him uh Marky. Uh, I pretty much call him whatever I feel like calling him that day. <laughs> so you? Uh, I call her Babel, I call her Andy, um, Babe. Babe is normally when it's like an argument, like, Babe, I I didn't do that, Babe. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's like when he's being serious, uh, which, if you've seen his serious face, guys, you would laugh. It's, it's not even serious, it's like, okay. um, oh, why me? Every single time! Ugh, get out of here, stop! Oh, I'm dead. Um... Okay, how do each of you say I love you to your partner without saying it? Um, if I'm recording this time, and you can see this, um, we normally do, uh, we point to the eye, and then we do a half heart because we can't do, it's kind of like we, we mean for each other's fingers to go into a heart. Um, so we do a half heart, and then I point to him. And that's what we say when we don't want to talk. So, anything you want to say? Um, yeah, we form the heart thing, um... Mouth it like without saying it. Oh, oh, there's another one we do. We also attempt, like, with just our fingers, we write I love you on each other's hands. Um, anything else you want to say about that, babe? No, no, we don't really do anything out of the ordinary. Okay, um, what advice do you wish you knew about your partner before you said I do? Um, there's a lot of personal things, but I don't want to discuss those. Um, but I wish I knew his mom was such a mom. Like, I don't, like, she's become annoying in the past. And I know she watches my videos, so she gets mad at that. I'm sorry. But, um, I just don't like something she has gotten into in the past. And I really just don't care for her being a part of, like, I, I want her to be a part of our life. But I don't care for her getting into our business, if that makes sense. Um, there's been instances where she's gotten into our business where it was not needed and told us how to do a certain thing and it just not her place not her time and it just um um uh, we've also had a couple fights and mark had to be in the middle of it so um i didn't appreciate that putting him in the middle of it when he had nothing to do with it um there has been something that recently occurred and she made it a lot worse than it needed to be and it caused some stuff and uh so i just think that you need to put your boundaries on your in-laws um, because they can, at the end of the day, ruin your relationship. Um, some moms are runs, um, and uh, she just happened to be very connected to him. And uh, it it's just, I wish I would have known it was like that tight-knit beforehand because it's quite annoying. <laughs> so you, babe. Ah, um... I wish I would have known that your OCD was as bad as it was. Um, as much as, um, what is that? What is that thing? Um, sorry, guys, I'm not He just wishes I wasn't very clean. Like, I needed well, everything. Not being clean is a matter of, I wish that there were things that I did that you would be, like, I don't want to say you're not thankful for, but appreciate more. Yes, that's also another thing in relationships is that I wish I would have known that men need to be uh, patted on the back every time they do something. Because that's what he expects. And um, I'm not that type of person. I don't like go, awesome, you did an awesome job. Um, I probably should be. <laughs> but uh, I'm not that type of person. I grew up a different way and that's how I... Um, Okay, last question. What's the most important advice you can give to the audience about relationships and marriage? Uh, um, if I could really pinpoint a really important thing is, I realize a lot of people just rushing into marriage and um, I, sh I, I and then later getting a divorce. I say just like 
figure your stuff out before you marry that person because um you know millennials so we're trapped in with the new era now um but uh i just say that make sure you're actually in love before you put a ring on it because i mean to be honest i've seen some you know terrible terrible things occur from uh incidences like that um like a family member of mine uh she hooked up with a guy um they had a child he did not want nothing to do with that child and later on he ended up uh taking that child from her and it's it's a very sad situation it's a very negative situation um it has impacted our lives tremendously um but i just say that make sure you know what you're doing before you do it because not always is everything perfect um you do actually get to know the person when you start living with them i mean you learn their every quirks you learn their behaviors you learn what you're annoyed about you learn about um how they snore you learn about like you learn about everything and eventually it becomes annoying i don't ever know anybody that's gonna sit there and go oh he just snores so peacefully it's so cute no you do that come on <laughs> um but yeah i just uh i say that um trying to be kind as possible because it, it extremely annoys me when i see couples just like okay we've only known each other for a month and we're getting married uh it doesn't make sense and it doesn't add up <laughs> um now if you've known each other for a very long time like me and mark have um that that may be a different story but i, I just don't like to see people rush into things and uh you know so I, I say don't rush things don't like spend time getting to know each other learn each other um learn to love one another um you know because you know it it may not be love it might be just lust uh you may just be feeling a certain way that day and later on you don't feel that way so without me going on and on and dragging this on just make sure you know um that you are ready for that type of commitment um before you make that type of commitment you know what i mean um and if you think i don't know what i'm talking about okay that's fine um but that's just my peace of mind my uh if i could give you guys advice that would be what it would be so do you have any advice never give up on your spouse um treat them with respect and dignity have fun don't do anything that you'll regret later down the road and don't go to bed angry always talk about things always uh share with each other when something's bothering you and uh yeah all right family welcome back so did you not love that video today i especially just love to just hear what they had to say some of their ups and downs and just to see the maturity that they have in their relationship um, they've been together for years as you heard um, she was able to discuss what she kind of didn't uh, like about the in-laws and the husband did not take offense to it he was able to say how he was um, a little bit not liking her OCD and but they were able to talk about these things and just move on with the questions there was no angle and there was no anger no animosity they were just showcasing the love that they have for each other even in them playing the games she was able to say babe like babe you keep killing me or babe watch out for me and there was no offense taken he was also man enough to man up and say that gaming does sometimes get in the way of their marriage so just take these things in mind and 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 take what you can from them but also understand that no relationship is going to be perfect but it can be a perfect relationship for you and your boo. all right so if you like the video like this make sure that you give me thumbs up and if this is your very first time here make sure that you go ahead and subscribe by hitting the icon or the red subscribe button i'm just so honored that mark and amber came to share today i will see you guys in a future video two finger salute